Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Melvin, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Nexus 5. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. The reason why I say that this is the the best smartphone available, I mean, there's so much to it, so I'm going to try to cover everything as I go. But pretty much, um, this phone is $349.99 for the 16 gig and $399.99 for the 32 gig. And this phone, I'll show you there. And this phone comes uh, stock with Android 4.4, which is also known as Android uh, KitKat, which is known as Kit uh, KitKat. And yeah, for me, that pretty much it. Just the 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 price for the phone and the quality that you get for that price, including the software. I mean, it's the best Android experience that you can get for. For a smartphone, so yeah, that's really big for me. Uh, being a big Android fan myself, and I was wanting the latest software. I was rooting my previous phones, so I can keep uh, updating my phone, so I can keep up um, with the latest a um, Android um, OS. So yeah, that's the main reason why I say that this is the best smartphone. It's an awesome experience to experience Google, no bloatware on, on your device. It's just straight Android. Um, also, this phone can is unlocked already, so you can use it with any carrier, except for uh, Verizon. All right, and so some new some new features that they have in Android 4.4. One thing I'll cover right away is that they integrated uh, messaging with Google Hangouts, so now you will receive everything in just on Hangouts. So all your texts and all your Hangouts, you just, you just use Hangouts, and everything is there. If you don't like that, and if you like having a separate app for your text, so you can see here I downloaded a different one, uh, messaging, and then I have Hangouts. I prefer to keep them separate. So if you wanted to do that, um, well, the one that I'm using is is a I forgot what it was called. It was like S SMS. Uh, yeah, SMX, um, eight SMS stock messaging KitKat. So that will give you the pretty much the SOC uh, messaging if you if you do not want to use Hangouts. Another thing is that um, they Im keep improving Google Google Now, which I'd say is going to be pretty b even bigger in 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 the future time to come. But yeah, they keep focusing a lot on Google Now, and now it has its own pretty much dedicated page. Before you just click on the top, or you just, um, you have to activate it to open up the screen. But now you just scroll to the left. And you're on Google now, so here you could look at all your stuff on here. And also, you can activate Google now by just saying OK Google, and that activates there for you. So that's a new feature. As far as, far as 4.3 and 4.4, you're not gonna no notice a lot of things, but it is a lot better on battery. Um, the Android OS runs better on 4.4, so it will actually consume less battery. You're not really going to notice it if you have an older device and say, well, you know, I heard reviews that the Nexus 5, um, the Nexus 5 battery kind of sucks. And, I mean, it, I totally disagree with that. Um, once again, this is a high-end phone, so the, it has a better processor. It has a lot more going on than on the, the previous phones. If you had a, a prior phone... Um, what's I going to say? If you had like a prior phone running these same specs, I guarantee you that the battery life would be either equivalent or, or worse than the Nexus 5. And let me just go ahead and show you. Oh, okay, he's gone right here to battery. I'm at 29%, but if you look at it, I've been running. Um, oh, you can't really see it there. Bring it down here. Let's see if you can see. All right. Well, it's not showing on my phone, but I've been running uh, for 20 hours and 51 minutes, and I'm still at 29 percent. And yeah, these are the was consuming most of my battery. Oh, there you kind of see it. I guess I'll have to take a screenshot of it. Alright, so 
yeah, I'm on 20 hours and 51 minutes and 21 seconds, and I'm still at 29% battery. So that's not too bad. Actually, that's not bad at all. A couple of new other new features that comes with Android 4.4. Oh, as you can see, this looks different. They sort of upgraded it a little bit more. Let me get put it over here so you can see better. All right, so let me go to settings. And now you have. See, I think I have a couple of new things over here. No. Oh, see, here you go. Your default SMS, SMS app, Hangouts, or messaging, which I use. Okay, all of this is regular stuff there. Um, you now have a home, which if you use several different launchers, if, which if you see my Samsung video, this actually would have been pretty handy. Right now I'm just using the stock Android one. So display, battery, show these apps. Um, now we have a um, tap and pay. So you can just pretty much go here and set up your Google Wallet. So you can just use your NFC to just tap. If the, the Play Store supports it, you can just tap and just pay. And we now have printing, uh, printing, which is right there, which uh, just makes it easier for you to cloud print. So let me show you about phone. As you can see, running Android 4.4. I click this a few times, and we get OK. Yeah. So the reason why, like I said, the reason why I say this is the best um, phone available is because for the price, it offers a, it packs quite a punch. It's really competitive with the high-end uh, phones right now. I wouldn't say it's better as far as specs than the, the Note 3, but it's really comparable to the uh, Samsung S4 and the HTC One and a couple of other phones out there. <clears throat> but um, yeah, it has a great uh, display. It's a 4.95 or 9.7 uh, uh, inch, and it, it looks awesome. Um, I have no complaints about the screen. It's a, it's a very great screen, very smooth, nice moving around, very quick and responsive. The movies, <clears throat> the movies or picture quality looks great on this phone. Um, I don't use it too much to watch uh, movies because I use my Nexus 7, but yeah, it's a great quality uh, display. <clears throat> also, the camera. It has an 8 megapixel camera in the back. Um, it has a wider camera than any other phone that you might see. And... It's actually a really good camera. There's been a lot of complaints about it, but if you set your camera to HDR plus, um, you you're gonna see a difference in your pictures. It's gonna take a lot better quality pictures, and it also records really well. Um, there's a couple of people out there who posted their pictures on um, with their Nexus 5, so you can have a look at those. But yeah, the camera is actually really good. Um, it takes a little bit longer because it needs more time to adjust or focus, but it takes, uh, I, I would say, wider pictures since it has a bigger lens than most most other phones. But the, yeah, the qual is great quality, and like I said, for a 350 phone to have so much in it, it's I there's really no room to complain. It's such a great phone for the price. It packs so so many great features. Android 4.4, a great five inch display, which is really good the sound is not the best but it's still it it can get pretty loud it's um i have no complaints about this phone um nice screen great pictures uh android 4.4 it's it competitive in hardware to the high-end phones right now so um this phone is i would say is for google fans people who love google like i do um i would definitely say this phone is um something that you do on a route you don't have to because it's already going to have the latest Google um, updates. But yeah, this this phone is made for an, an, uh, Android enthusiasts, people who like technology, like playing around with their smartphone, and like, you know, just doing so many things with it. So this is the reason why I love this phone, why I love the Nexus, and why I recommend it, and also why I say it's the best uh, smartphone available right now.
Um, so thanks for watching this video. Um, there will be plenty of other videos that I'm going to make about the Nexus 5, but pretty much just wanted to let you know about this phone, why I like it so much. I even kept the plastic that it came with showing the Nexus 5 logo. I see no reason to take it off. <laughs> Everybody that sees my phone complains about it. Like, why I still have that? But hey, shit. I like having it on there. Big deal. Alright, so thanks for watching uh, this video. Oh, before I go, I also want to show you the case that I bought for it. It's made by Caseology. It fits really well. This is a leather, a leather mat here. It protects my phone awesomely. And I'll show you how that fits on there. See, pretty easy to install. Looks good on, on, on my phone. And, yeah, no complaints about it. Easy to turn, turn the phone on. There you go. Alright, thanks for watching this video. And I hope you guys watch me on my next one. Have a good one.